Not Vietnam, it's Doobie Doobie Bop. Doobie does food, Doobie Doobie Bop. But just do it. So, who doesn't love food? Especially watching people cook delicious meals online. From watching her shorts about cooking and life philosophies to her vlogs expressing her honest thoughts, Dubai Dubop has grown into one of the most popular food tubers, gaining over 3 million followers since 2020 and many of her short videos getting over 10 million views. But who is she and how did she gain such a large YouTube following so quickly? Dubai Dubap, otherwise known as Tina Choi, is a 24-year-old Korean food and lifestyle content creator currently living in Korea. Before her YouTube blow up, she came to America when she was 14 to attend boarding school. She said it was quite a difficult transition time as she was homesick and craved the traditional Korean food she ate back home. From there, she learned to cook improvised Korean meals in her dorm. She called her grandmother to teach her recipes and would use various condiments from the grocery store, even though they didn't have any Asian condiments. This garnered her the nickname Prep Cook amongst her peers. After boarding school, she attended and majored in food science at Cornell University. She cited having a keen passion for food cuisine and cooking. After graduation, she struggled to find a job within the food production industry, leading her to start a YouTube channel to show potential employers about her culinary skills. Little did she know it was going to be a major success, going on to be a full-time YouTuber. Tina started posting content on TikTok in 2020 to build a portfolio. She posted videos of herself cooking her original recipes while recounting her life experiences. Soon enough, her following grew to 3.4 million followers on TikTok and 80.4 million likes. Later, she transitioned to YouTube Shorts. At first, it didn't have much success, only getting 500 views per short. Her first video was about chili oil noodles. From there, her content started gaining traction, growing to over 1 million views. Her content recipes range from Korean fried chicken, tonkatsu ramen, to mango bingsu. She also began posting vlogs and lifestyle content, which solidified her following on YouTube. She now has 3.12 million subscribers within a span of 3 years. So, what makes her content so popular? As humans, we love to hear stories. Tina's ability to tell stories throughout her videos makes them compelling and relatable to watch. Her stories usually convey personal anecdotes, anecdotes about her life experiences which also include her quirks. Good storytelling evokes emotions in you. It makes you feel emotionally invested in the YouTuber and their life. You want to know more about who they are, their thoughts and their perspectives. Just like a parasocial relationship. Most of Tina's vlogs are structured as a story. She starts with the ending, the destination, and then rewinds to take you back to the beginning of the journey to explain how she got there. This type of non-linear storytelling structure hooks you into her life from the beginning of the vlog. You want to know how she achieved her result, which increases the chance of watching the video until the end. To show your weakness is to make yourself vulnerable. To make yourself vulnerable is to show your strength. Strangely, content creation allows you to be vulnerable to a bunch of random strangers on the internet. Brene Brown defines vulnerability as uncertainty, risk, and emotional exposure. Tina's content shows her vulnerability when she shares personal stories. She's very open even about her family problems. I've been arguing with my family. We don't talk anymore, which I- Health scare- About something so I got referred on to a bigger hospital. And love life. Tina's ability to share the challenges and heartbreaks in her life build rapport with her audience. We feel we can relate to her struggles as she tries to navigate these hardships. So we also feel emotionally invested in her problems. We want to see the content creator overcome their trials because we love a hero's journey. Being vulnerable online is also risky. You don't know how your audience will react to your personal stories. What if your audience hates it? What if they love it? What if the video doesn't gain any traction? You risk failure, rejection, and uncertainty. When you post that video, it's now up to the world to judge you. Your popularity and success on YouTube are completely dependent on how much people like your content. And human beings are fickle creatures. We cancel influencers overnight, and we shoot others into viral stardom very quickly too. 
Authenticity is the practice of letting go of who we think we are supposed to be and embracing who we are. At first, I was going to say her relatability is another element of her YouTube success, but something more accurate is her authenticity. Relatability on YouTube can be faked. Influencers can put on a relatable act to retain their audience. However, it gets harder to do that as the YouTuber grows in popularity and wealth, their content changes and their lifestyle changes. Therefore, relatability it does not necessarily keep an audience. The creator's authentic portrayal of their personality is what makes you keep watching them. Tina's portrayal of her authenticity by adding in her sense of humor, unique editing style and random scenes, like sitting on the toilet while recounting her life lessons, it's a personality that can't be replicated by anyone else. So Tina has been able to build a brand, a unique voice that has allowed her to build a product and something to sell to us, the audience. In this way, the creator's life becomes a product. The brand image is a delicate balance between meeting the audience's expectations and meeting YouTube advertisers' standards, while also remaining true to their self-identity and values. Tina's niche is food, which has universal appeal. I mean, we all love to eat good, delicious meals with friends and family. Tina emphasizes using food as a way to share stories, educate people about Korean culture, and give a glimpse of her life and recipes. Combine this passion for the culinary and food experience with her aesthetically pleasing videos, it's a recipe for viral success, food pun intended. While Tina remains an unproblematic YouTuber, she has had a couple controversies. The main one is where her audience has caught her out for being tone deaf, especially in her videos talking about wealth and privilege. And before all the diehard doobie fans come for me, I'm not hating on Tina. I'm simply pointing out some of the criticisms she has received from her content. I think it's important to not blindly idolize influencers, but to remember that they are also human and have flaws. Tina has made a couple videos talking about the privileges her rich friends have, which a lot of commenters highlighted was very ironic since she also comes from a privileged background. This is completely ironic and tone deaf coming from someone who went to boarding school in the States, followed by an Ivy League school, travels business class, owns an apartment in one of the most expensive cities in the world, and has the luxury of dining out and traveling to countries whenever one feels like it. Other commenters have also caught her out for another short video she made about money versus fame. In that video, she said most people would choose fame over money because everyone can have money. Naturally, people had opinions. Many of her audience once again pointed out how ignorant and classist the speech was, stating the majority of people would choose money over fame. It showed a lack of understanding of the real life struggles of working people who live in poverty and all the worries that come from living paycheck to paycheck. Some people in her audience also noted she may be living in a bubble that has been perpetuated by being a social media influencer and being surrounded by other wealthy families. This disconnect with reality may have tainted her otherwise relatable image. However, to her credit, Tina made an apology video where she owned up to her mistake. She mentioned YouTube being her diary and also stated that she would use this feedback as an opportunity to grow. This apology video was met with mixed reactions, but most people in the comments tried to give constructive criticism. Okay, missed your previous video until now and not to be rude but this felt even more tone deaf than that video. I don't think anybody wanted you to apologize for what you said, nor do I think anybody was hurt by your words. I think most people just wanted you to consider broadening your perspective. Don't apologize for having a skewed perspective. Just try to make sure to appreciate what you have and what others lack. Also, just to point out, the apathy or affluenza that comes from immense amounts of wealth is not a consequence. It's just another element of privilege. A consequence is not being able to choose your own career or having to fear losing your possessions or home the moment you stop working. This sense of affluenza where you feel dissatisfied with your current level of success, regardless of how much wealth and material possessions you have, simply points to another element of privilege. The privilege of having all your basic needs met, that you can take risks, like starting a YouTube channel. The privilege of choosing what career you take and being able to chase your passions because you have the safety net of your parents if things fail. Unfortunately, Tina's lack of ability to acknowledge these blessings 
is what has rubbed her viewers the wrong way, trying to be relatable by talking about rich people's problems while you also make a substantial living by simply making food content is not the norm for the average person. It's okay to be wealthy, just appreciate the benefits that come from being well off. Although Dubai Dubop has had her fair share of criticism, that hasn't stopped her from making content. As she continues figuring out her 20s, starting new businesses and restaurants, as well as experimenting with food recipes, she has a loyal audience who are invested into her success, so her channel is only set to grow in size and number. 